Good evening, my name is Matilda Nyakwa Kweku. It's time for business. The inflation rate is up again. The rate hit 17% in November 2014 from an October rate of 16.9%. Deputy Government Statistician Bawadie says high inflation in utility, housing, as well as gas and others are the causes of the inflation increase. He added that inflation will continue to climb upward until government puts in place deflationary policies. The prices of goods and services in the month of November went up by 0.1 percentage points compared to the rate recorded in October 2014. The non-food group which in the past month has been falling the increment in the inflation rate recorded an average year-on-year -year inflation rate of 24.1 percent. On the average for housing, water, electricity, gas and other fuels, we recorded an inflation rate of 36.2. Then for transport, we had a rate of 30.2. Then we have for gas over a 12-month period before the adjustments last month, an inflation rate of 88.4 percent. Then we have for diesel a rate of 70.4. Then for petrol, 62.2 percent. Water, resource water, 43.6. So these are some of the causes which have influenced inflation, and it is mainly in the non-food sector. Although the city is currently stable, the statistical service explains inflation will remain on an upward trend if economic policies remain inflationary. If the price level remains the same, it doesn't change, and it goes on up to almost to a year, almost close to a year, or up to when a year up to when the last adjustment was made and nothing happens to the price level then we could have everything evening out and then subsequently we could have uh, big reductions but if there are policies which will continue to move the price level up then it could be a different story. The year-on-year -year inflation for imported items is 24.2 percent more than one and a half times higher than the inflation rate for locally produced items, recording a rate of 14.4 percent. The food and non-alcoholic beverages group, meanwhile, recorded an average year-on-year -year inflation rate of 6.6 percent, 0.1 percentage points higher than the 6.5 percent recorded in October 2014. Now still in business, President John Mahama has inaugurated a new governing board for the Millennium Development Authority. The new board is to oversee the successful implementation of the second Millennium Challenge Compact, which focuses on expansion and stabilization of power supply. The inauguration comes on the heel of worsened power crisis being experienced in the country. This has led to the creation of a new power ministry. President John Mahama said setting up of the board is one of critical actions required for disbursement of the first tranche of the compact. This second compact is focused and dedicated in, uh, to, to ensuring the expansion and um, stability of uh, power supply in, in our country. As members of the board, I'm informed that some critical actions and decisions are required for disbursement of the first tranche of grants. These include review and approval of the fiscal accountability plan, review and approval of the CIF procurement plan, and um, other you know, uh, conditions precedent. And so it's my hope that the board would turn its attention to these conditions so that we can have an early start to the implementation of the new compact. I'm looking forward to your leadership and effort to get these matters receive your immediate attention to allow Ghana receive the first tranche of the financing. He tasks them to exhibit leadership to achieve what is required of them. I wish to charge the board to work as a team and to provide the needed leadership to meet that. We were successful in the first compact and we're expecting even greater success for this second compact is ongoing. The wide professional backgrounds and expertise of you, the board members, will be needed for the guidance, direction, and oversight of MIDA to ensure that this Millennium Challenge Compact is properly used to execute the agreed programs 
and catalyze the economic growth of Ghana through the provision of reliable power. Chairman of the board, Professor Sefadede, called for cooperation from key players in the power sector in order for them to deliver on their mandate. Maximum cooperation with clear appreciation of deliverables will be required from all of us. I trust that Your Excellency, the board working with MIDA will receive support from your government and all sector agencies, especially those working in the power sector. These include Electricity Corporation of Ghana, the Northern Electricity Distribution Company, the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission, the Energy Commission, the Volta River Authority, Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Energy and Petroleum, and now the new Ministry of Power. I trust that with the maximum cooperation of all these sectors and actors, we will deliver a very successful second compact. The nine members inaugurated included Gender and Social Protection Minister Nana Oyelitha, Deputy Finance Minister Atu Forsen, Deputy Energy Minister John Junapo, among others. Gifty and Bapia, Joy News, Flagstaff House. Business News.